Hey everyone, it's Andy here, and uh, today I'm just going to do a quick video on talking about refund processing and just some anecdotal evidence on which tax software providers are getting the fastest refunds submitted to the IRS. Now, of course, these providers don't have control over what the IRS does, but there is a trend that folks submitting with certain providers are seeing their refunds processed faster. So there's a few reasons for that, and I'll talk about that in this video. So just to recap, the standard processing schedule is showed here. People e-file their taxes. You can do paper check paper as well, but e-file is you know used by the vast majority of tax filers nowadays. So generally, within 20 to 4 to 48 hours, the return is accepted uh, by the IRS. Means they've got it. It's been submitted. Most times, this goes through fine because it's checks with your tax software provider that should uh, not have an issue when it gets into an IRS system. This is all automated. There's not any human intervention. Then what happens is if everything goes well, it process passes the IRS system checks. It takes about two days to be approved. So that means your refund was approved if you're eligible for a refund by the IRS. And then 19 days, up to 19 days later, the deposit is set. Now, this timeline varies, but generally, you know, 21 days is what the IRS says from when they accept a return to when the deposit is sent. Some people are seeing it within a week. Some people are seeing it way longer. So I'll talk a little bit about which providers are sort of um, the best in terms of doing this. And it's through a poll I recently ran. So looking at the refund results, you know, so there are folks who have obviously got their refund sent and this is the standard message. You know, they, they, they get it by February 24th, especially a lot of those people on stuck on path. They're getting their refunds now. This is the message you want to see on your uh, WMR or IRS to go app. Then there's folks that are seeing, OK, we apologize, but your return has been processed beyond the normal time frame. So this could be due to multiple reasons, and I've covered this in some previous videos. But essentially, it means the IRS, due to system delays, are taking time to process your return or something has been flagged in their automated processing that requires it to go for additional verification, which potentially will delay the refund. Now, the IRS will tell you why, and they have a list of issues under top tax topic 152 around why things are delayed. But again, a lot of times these are delayed because certain basic checks amounts don't reconcile. It just takes the IRS longer. And a lot of times they can resolve this themselves without having to um, get more information from the taxpayer but it'll probably delay the refund approved status um, to when your return is done. And then the last kind of message, and you know, obviously there's many different types of messages. These are sort of bucketing the main ones. The last one you'll sort of see is the one where you, know, you need to take action. So you've submitted return, it's gone through verifications, it was flagged, and now it's come probably from uh, the error handling department of the IRS. And they will then send you a notice to say that this does amount doesn't add or they need more information. They can't verify this, you know, a lot of times if they can verify, they'll solve it. But sometimes if it's, you know, freelancing or income, which there's no secondary source, they will ask you for more information. Or if there's been a change in your filing status, that can create some flags as well. So you'll get this notice and I'll cover notices in a separate video. But just, you know, this will definitely add several weeks to your refund processing. And it's probably one you want to action as soon as possible. But all this being said, assuming, you know, for standard refund processing timelines, which is the fastest? tax software provider. So I did run a poll that I'll show you shortly. But before that, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to keep getting more videos like this. It really helps uh, me with this channel. Thanks. So which tax software provider gets you the fastest refund? And I'm comparing this fast relative to the IRS standard processing timeline, which is 21 days. Now, like I said, some folks are getting it sooner. Some folks are taking much longer and we're still in the middle of tax season. So this data is not a scientific study. And I'm sure that if you talk to different people that have different experiences, but just from a you know poll that I ran on the YouTube channel, which is a live poll, which keeps growing. It, it has over 700 votes and I'm sure by the time this video is published, it'll have a lot more. But you're seeing the trend here uh, and, you know, a lot of these providers, uh, you know, are the are big ones out there. And there's, you know, hundreds of comments that were added to this is on this poll, plus also some of the other videos. So just taking all that together, you know, I, I looked at these things and, you know, what what makes these you know different or what makes them faster. Right. So in terms of the poll, you can see TurboTax and HR Block um, are the top two. Tax Ad came in and Tax Slayer came in. Now, these these sort of four are probably the ones I would say the winners. There are other, obviously there's others like Jackson Hewitt and Free File and all those things. And there's people who submit paper returns and you, you can go and see the poll. I'll put a link to that in the description below this video as well. Uh, we can go my community tab. So it's not that these people are suddenly they have a, a new fangled way. I mean, the tax codes are pretty well defined. They're pretty standard. But really what makes these tax providers, these big players better is that you know, they've invested a lot of money in that platform. So they actually have a lot more accuracy 
and they're able to have you know machine learning, artificial intelligence to check, does this make sense with the person's income, with their dependents, previous tax years, if you've used them before. So it's able to do some sort of intelligence to say, hey, this doesn't make sense or this check doesn't uh, do. Obviously, it does the math, it checks your demographics, uh, SSN, all is accurate. But then, especially this year, where there's been issues with the um, child tax credit, it was paid in advance last year. So some of the amounts you received did not reconcile with what was submitted to the IRS, plus the IRS made check payments in December, which may have not been factored into your numbers. So what these tools do is that they're able to sort of use that intelligence. They'll also sometimes have feeds that allow them to be more accurate so that when you submit it, the IRS you know, is able to process your return through their automated standard process, which means you get the refund faster. Uh, a good example is stimulus checks, right? There've been three of those paid in the last few years. So if people you know, claim them twice or put the wrong amount in, if you use one of the leading providers, they tend to have good checks to say, hey, was this submitted? Check for this IRS tax notice. You know, If you use them for multiple years, they can normally pick it up and say this was already submitted in the previous year. So this is why these guys are really uh, different. And then they obviously have a really good user interfaces, process flow, so they guide you through. They're obviously trying to upsell you some of their other services mm -hmm. as well because they all provide a free option, but then as you go to a more complex return, they'll upcharge you. And sort of that's how they make money. Uh, but they do invest a lot in the UI. Um, you know, the US tax industry is a, is a multi-billion industry, a lot of lobbyists to try and keep it, I, I, I say, a little bit more complicated so that they can uh, charge a lot of the taxpayers money. It's very hard to do US tax returns uh, simply, especially if you have a complex situation. But then they also allow you now with the new technology, they're all cloud-based, they allow you to load documents, that allow you to link to your financial institution so you can pull in all your investments, your 1099s. So these new guys obviously have the money, they've invested in this and they are doing it. Folks, you know, companies like TaxSlayer and TaxAd, some of the newer uh, guys out there, they've also got this sort of cloud first, mobile first, which appeals to a lot of the new generation, those under the age of 35 that, you know, like to even do their returns on their mobile phones. So those guys I'm seeing in the comments getting a lot of support as well. And the biggest thing it comes down to is that, you know, they do it accurate. And so you'll see some of these off also offer, you know, 100% guarantee for accuracy and advanced refund loans because they obviously believe that the information that they've collected and submitted should pass all the IRS checks. Of course, it's only as good as the information you upload or provide. I mean, if you give incorrect information, the, the return will have issues. But then these guys, you know, if you follow their steps, generally follow the returns, you should get your refund um, as fast as the S uh, IRS has thus promised, right? And what's good is even if you have issues, if you go with some of the big guys like Intuit and TurboTax, uh, sorry, TurboTax and HR Block, they tend to actually have a post-filing support. And so they have live chats, they have email support, they have phone support, um, HR Block, uh, Jackson Hewitt have offices, which is good for people who want to go and see someone in person. That actually is another thing to look at because even if your return is held up, if you can find some professional that gives you a reason, can, you, know, you can quickly submit more information to the IRS, it can mean that your refund is expedited. So rather than waiting weeks, you, be, you don't have to wait, you know, weeks, you can get it within a few days or some people are actually waiting from last year. So this is, you know, not a scientific survey. I, I, I do work with some of these tax providers from an affiliate perspective, but I think, you know, it's interesting to see the trend here and, you know, have what, leave, leave a comment with your thoughts, have a vote in the poll, but it's always interesting to see that the big players are still the ones who get the fastest refund, generally speaking. Thanks. Bye-bye.